Greetings everyone, and great here for another h Fires 3 replay. So on the bottom left side as the red French, we have MHT Genoese Crossbowman. On the right side as the blue British, we have Oz Leo Cardio Nito. And I really hate the fact that the British, known for red coats, but they're in blue. The French, the blue flag, is in red. I'm going to get them mixed up really quite often. No deck selected there. Or here. When it comes to natives on the map, got the House of Yegalon. Gave you access to Lipkar Tartar and the Shock Rider. And the House of Odenberg, which gave you access to Royal Hunters and Northern Musketeers. We do have decks selected for the French. A couple cards I don't recognize immediately. Couriers, Northwest Passage. Couriers move faster and do more damage to Treasure Guardians. The speed bonus is nice, but the bonus damage to Guardians is pretty pointless. Pioneers, Couriers, Wood Coin, Bazaars, Woodness Warfare, Frontier Defenses, Extensive Fortifications, Higher Air Irish Brigadiers, Wood Coin. Royal French Army enables your musketeers and hoverers to benefit from combat promotions. Skirmishers, Crusiers, Falconets, Fort, Heavy Cannons, Improved Buildings, Heavy Fortifications, Fort, again, there's another Fort. Also allows your explorer to rebuild the forts, uh, factory and factory. So we got some sort of turtle deck for the French and we got Incanent deck settlers Greenwich time settlers food wood coin longbowmen musketeers glorious revolution villagers wood coin longbowmen yeomen musketeers hussars falconets fort refrigeration a longbowmen gentlemen of the pike concrete rockets Paris houses Man slowly trained sellers, factory and factory. Oh, it looks like the French player managed to tame a wolf. It is Buck, the tamed wolf, and will steal that man's violin. He's going to be a musician one day. You monster. The Frenchman signed to kill off a plague doctor. And he will seal that plague's doctor's uh, roof rabbit for 100 food. That's actually pretty high, 100 food. And I nearly took out the explorer, Thomas Rebolt. Sounds like a custom name. Ready. David. Oh. Yes. Hudson. Is that a custom name or a randomly generated name? The British player can now age up. Takes out the local doggos. And will steal their, their exhausted carry pigeon that was going to deliver the news. The governor versus the governor. Both players do have a shipment available. Brigan taking some damage here by the Explorer. The Brigan is right now doing 19 damage, and the Explorer doesn't have a whole lot of health remaining. Which will give him 60 coin. Local Doggo getting some good bites there. But both their Explorers are not quite wounded. Kaka. Commerce Age. And the Frenchman will head to Colonial Age. Both of them will get their outpost wagon. So it's like both players signing for some eco play. 
Got the very fine coat for the Frenchman, as well as some shimmers. Both of them going for coin and wood. They have exact same builds, pretty much. Are they both eyeing for fast fortress or eyeing for fast industrial? That man does get shot. And now I do got a church improvement, the Glorious Revolution. And looks like the Frenchman is I the age of the exile prince, his opponent. Now going for Glorious Revolution, going for the Mohawk Statesman. We should get in some Hodede Shone native warriors. Both trade posts are claimed for the British right now. The French only has one trade post. If the British really wouldn't do, he could steal this trade post. And he's going to steal the trade post. The church is not complete. Is it going to go for any uh, church research at the moment? Doesn't appear to be. Mines improvement complete. Now we've got the French fort. He's going to go for industrial. He's going to turtle this hard. Stable being plotted field. Going does have a barracks on the field. Okay. Got the Haudenosaunee tomahawks. Their exact stats. They are native. You can see here. Infantry, a musketeer variant. Their damage is not too great. Their range is not too great. They do have bonus damage at range against cavalry and shock. So they don't, and their DPS is the same from melee and to range. So they offer just steady damage at all ranges, but nothing too significant. But they cost no population, so it's very nice. So you can perhaps clamp some more trust on the map. You would tomahawk these doggos and seal their. Broken wing, the Polish Hazar, so that a wolf can no longer ride the battle with those wings, you monster. The British player is going for some cannon now. Got the fork going on up. Kaka. Fort is now built. With the higher no, oh, got some Highlanders there. Oh no, nope, it's the Church Improvement Black Watch. They offer 63 damage, 200 gold each, so they are very good Musketeer variant. Now the doggo does go down, steals his horse radish, which is not an instrument. Like Doctor does go down there, and I hear artillery founding not complete by the French. He's pretty close up aging up. And now he's aging up to the tycoon, which should give him a bit of a gold rebate. Looks like it will take out these bandits, marauding Cossacks, and it will seal their Cossack Bandura.
No manor boom right now for the British. Does have a good amount of experience coming on in. He does have a shipment available. Could go for the eight settlers. Or for some more wood. We do now have another manor house going on up. Looks like the French is eyeing for some culvern. The English player is also going for the engineer. Of course, it gets this coin rebate. Or in quite a bit of wood right now. I think he's eyeing for a revolt. His opponent right now, not collecting up any resources at the moment. What does the engineer provide? Does that provide like a fort? On, nope, yes. pair of falconets. So we've got quite a bit of siege right now for the English player, going for the gentleman, gentleman of pike. He has 17 pikemen, as well as set them to veteran, and makes it so, sets them to guard and makes a uh, imperial pikemen too obtainable and reduce the cost by 75 percent but that still may require age five <sighs> french signing for a pair of heavy cannon and some culverns now bring some various wood research He does have some defensive cannon. His opponent has quite a bit of force right now. He does have now guard pike in the field. Have the factory right now for the British. Will the French try to eye for a factory? He may try to squeeze out one more shipment before revolting. Factory wagon now pulled in the field. Going for a factory wagon now, and there's Revolt going to Canada. Let's see, Canada, does it turn all of his village into something? Or do they ever stay? Did he just cancel the revolt? He may have canceled or restarted the revolt, still going to Canada. I wasn't gonna pay attention, we got another we got the factory here going for a round of skirmishers. May want to set the heavy cannon. And now we have Canada. Revolution deck gives access to town militia pioneers for trade. Uh, spice trade, wilderness warfare, fencibles, musketeers are upgraded to fencibles, which they are stronger, cheaper, and have higher range. Uh, grizzlies, infinite grizzlies, infinite elk, uh, that's probably huntable. Uh, team buffalo, one-time shipment. Hudson Bay, village not going coin while gathering extra, extra resources. Infinite ir ironclads, infinite black watch highlanders, infinite musketeers, infinite skirmishers. 
We've got Quebec, Rise Fast, Ships Blood and Fort Wagon, allows militiamen to be called from outposts and front forts, and sets a uh, conscription and levy militia to active. Uh, Maeus Voigers, ships, uh, not, uh, 10 villagers, Corre de Bolas, permanent active militia, about to send 16 militia, and militia no longer lose hit points. It's against them to sit them to kill bounty. Militia armed uh, officer, since a militia. Canadian militia officer who can improve the fighting spirit of villagers, militiamen, and native warriors. Uh, add 24 build limit to militiamen. Uh, uh, dragoons, native American embassies. Uh, these guys do have 20 damage, the villagers have 20 damage and decent amount of health. Uh, weapon Lapana warriors, Hanover allies. Military musicians, team native weapons trade, increased native war build number by 20%, and blood brothers. Oh, you just only have do have some skirmish on the field. Veteran skirmishers. Does have a shipment available. Going for infinite cannon right now. Right now the English does go have two factions in the field going for infinite rockets, has a good number of rockets in the field. Has a good amount of heavy infantry, so skirmishers are a good call. And can never say wrong to heavy cannon, or in this case, rockets. And we've now got grizzlies being shipped on in. Oh, Canada. Not that cheat code from Asian mythology. I wonder how effective that is. It is an infant shipment. But they're not laser bears. Unless they are laser bears, and you should really be careful. Villager does get sniped. Guard part do see the dancers skirmishers skirmishing around. Let's see the bears. Bears have 51 damage and 400 health. Okay, they're actually pretty good. And 10% melee resist. So they have incredibly high damage. And good folk to go along with them. So they're better than halberdiers. Is there a build limit on them? Bears over here. There is a build limit of 50, so you can always go for more. Rockets to engage the culverins. Culverins engaging the rockets. And does lose the culverins there. Heavy cannons starting to get overran. This one just has a good amount of siege weapon and a good number of guard pikemen. The bears are still over here. That must be a mistake. He needs those bears up here. He may need to get out that militia officer. His villagers do have good damage, 28 damage. Doesn't have access to pioneers just yet for increased health on his villagers. But they can fight. Bears are still over here. Target straight forward. Does take out a number of those uh, villagers right there. Got a number of skirmishers here as well. More villagers being blown out. Going for more culvert to gauge those rockets. He's fighting against a good amount of siege. Doesn't have his own heavy cannon on the field. Population is not maxed out. Does lose a house there. Going for. Royal Dragoons, got a good number of cannon and artillery pushed way forward. And the village is out of coin, the bears are watching them. What in this warfare does affect his villagers and his skirmishers? I was taking some fire there. House down. Bit of a home wrecker he is. Try to take out some of the artillery weapons with the culverns. Scrum just some damage there. Villagers got the ground there. The fort is still here. Bears taking hits on rockets. 
bears are now engaging rockets. One rocket does go down, but the bears are all getting focused down there. Skirmishers in a good position there, but taking some rocket hits there. Needs those culverts hit those rockets. Heavy cannon needs to start hitting those pikemen. More villagers down here, push way forward. Port still plenty healthy. Counter or rockets are starting to go down to the culverts. If you can't take out another rocket there. Right now, the Canadian player doesn't have a whole lot of production going on or much income. I can push way forward. If you can, does get annihilated there. Culverts trying to overrun those rockets. But they're getting overrun by the pikemen. Skirmish and pikemen gains 50 damage there. Veteran rangers push way forward. Got still some black wash on the field. Skirmishers engaging from a choke point. Skirmishers or villagers trying to overrun the rockets. They may be better to go in the melee. Skirmishers trying to get overrun. Does have a ship available. Skirmishers will probably be very useful. Looks like the rage is going to overrun. He has a good number of villagers inside the port. And it's got more of the rangers just streaming on in. Canadian has 10 villagers remaining. Osborne still has 6 villagers remaining and a good economy. And looks like Red does back up the game now. Zangrade saying, think of watching, and on to the next replay.